Good day. My name is Frank Steffen and I'll be taking you through this show. It's a special edition that we are bringing to you after we found that the live show that we recorded uh, at the Tourism Expo had a bit of tef technical difficulties. Those of you who were present would have known the wind and the weather wasn't exactly in our favor. So we decided to rather record a proper studio recording so that you can make up your own minds as we would want you to vote on these videos in the coming month. Anyway, so we had our uh, Tourists of the Year, sponsored by Journeys Namibia, Onel Leisure, and then obviously Wildwater Group, Kankuse, and we also had Namibia Wildlife Resorts and Wildwater Group. And first up, we had Renier van Wijk. Renier van Wijk uh, was hosted by Rongo Wild Lodge. He was born in, a, in a November 14 years ago in Wolfish Bay, where he still lives with his parents. He and his father share the same first name, and he was only assisted by his dad to get to their destination. The work, however, is his own. So René is a student who does homeschooling and he just recently started getting into photography and video editing. But his love for technology is evident and so he's now engaging in online projects. But let's have a look at his video. This is the Irongu Wild Lodge, being situated between two mountains and having excellent staff and places to relax and enjoy the surrounding view, you are sure to have the experience of a lifetime. Once you arrive, you can head up to your room, which is a luxurious tented chalet. With a super comfortable bed and a bathroom incorporated with the surrounding environment. The rooms also have some of the best views at the lodge. And once you are settled in, you can come to the restaurant and make yourself a coffee and something to eat at the buffet. Or you can order something off of the menu and enjoy the amazing wildlife and view. And to start today's activities off, you can view some of the many hiking trails they have. On each of them you will see an abundance of bird wildlife and different kinds of bird species. And each of these hiking trails will give you a unique and intriguing view of the area. And after a nice relaxing walk, you can do a nature drive to Paula's Cave, which is a national monument where the Bushmen used to draw rock paintings describing their everyday life. Or you can do a Sun Living Museum Day excursion where the men will show you how they used to hunt and how they used to make fire. And the woman will show you how they used to make their jewelry and how they used to love. And before you go back, they will show you their traditional dance. And on your way back to the lodge, you might also see some giraffes. And to end your day's activities off, you can do a scenic drive. You will see a lot of bird life, a lot of wildlife, and stunning views of the surrounding mountains.
and then you can enjoy a nice refreshing snack while enjoying the sunset. And after a long day of activities, you can come to the restaurant, relax and have something to drink. You can order something off the menu where you will be served a three course meal. Or you can sit around the fire and enjoy a nightcap. And after you've eaten you can come look at the missile yard cut that's there every night. And maybe there's a chance you'll see a pangolin, but they're usually night creatures and very rare to see. So come and spoil yourself at the heart of Namibia at the Irongu Wild Lodge. Right, and that was Rainier. Up next, we've got Taimi Nunyangu. Now, Taimi uh, is, was drawn by Jackalberry Tented Camp. She is a 23-year-old digital content creator that creates travel, lifestyle, and beauty content on Instagram and YouTube as her main platforms. She enjoys traveling and showcasing Namibia to her audience and the rest of the world. She was born in the village of Okashiya in the Omusati region in northern Namibia, but raised in Vintuk. So let's have a look at her video. It is no secret that Namibia has some of the most beautiful destinations. The feeling we changed, I'm wide awake. We're going to Jackalberry mm -hmm. with the car over there behind mm -hmm. me. And so fun. Yeah, it's super excited. <laughs> My travel partner and I are headed up north to Katima Mulilo as the beautiful Jackalberry tented camp awaits us under the Wild Waters group. Refreshment for you. Thank you. And then face cloth. Thank you. So you can have a refreshment. Oh, I need this. <laughs> I need this after a long drive. Uh -huh. Come Hi. along, guys. <laughs> Our host is so lovely. <laughs> We're going to your room. <laughs> hey guys so we just finished getting ready we are going for a boat cruise now and we want to take you with so yeah come along We are heading out for a game drive. Come with me. Hello everybody, my name is Erica and I'm working for the Wild Waters Company. What Wild Waters stands out for is a sustainable tourism orientated 
umbrella company that consists of beautiful four lodges, which is in Casa Lupala Tented Lodge, Jackalberry Tented Camp. We have got the Rupara Campsite and then we have got Sarandela Tented Lodge. All these four lodges is a partnership with communities. All our lodges are eco-friendly and we indeed encourage sustainable tourism. I encourage you to travel with wild waters. We are wild and exclusive. We offer various activities from a combination tour that can include the game drive with the boat ride. We have got short game drives. We do exclusive boat rides. We have got night drives, and then we have got guided works and plus also do the village tour. We accommodate all types of clientele from, from the lower range of budget to the higher range. You can visit as an anniversary friends and family, school trips, I encourage you to come and visit and you will have a memorable stay with the Wild Waters team. our trip basically yeah we had such a great time here with wild lovely. waters at jack of berry camp mm. on our way back to katima we passed by one of the local craftsmen's shop he showed me around and in today's world the role of a craftsman in the tourism industry is very evident and is a liable source of income Handcrafts is also an effective way of development for the tourism industry and a form of cultural exchange with other ethnic groups. Alright guys, so that brings us to the end of our trip and would like to say thank you to our sponsors. The Wild Waters Group, we loved our stay. It was a wonderful, wonderful experience. Right, and we had the best hosts. So with that said, we'd also like to say thank you to Tourismus Namibia for creating the platform and for allowing us to celebrate tourism within Namibia. Yeah. I'd also like to use this opportunity to thank Caprivi Adventures for making sure that we made it to and from our destination safely. Right, and that was uh, old, old timey. She was there as well on the on the Thursday evening. Up next, we've got Vino Shaumba. Um, Vino Shaumba and his wife Claudia Veta visited the King Nihale Lodge. Vino is a thirty year old, a thirty two year old man, and he was born and grew up in Onamukalo, a village in the northern regions of Namibia. He's an academic and loves traveling and exploring nature. So let's have a look there. Hi guys, come with us to Etosha King Nahale. We are excited to go for this incredible safari trip. So Etosha King Nahale is located just few kilometers from the famous Etosha National Park and that makes it an ideal base for the game driving and wildlife viewing. 
So guys, we drove through Itosha National Park via Namtoni Gate. We were greeted by an abundance of wildlife, including heads of giraffes, zebras, springboks, roaming freely across the park. Oh, this is so beautiful, guys. You know what, guys? From the moment we arrived, we were greeted by the French staff who went out of their way to make us feel welcome. This is so, so beautiful, incredible. Look at that. Let's toast. Yeah. Okay, and we are also booked for hideout activity. The hideout is a private water hall inside the Tosha Park. And there's a house over there where you hide, you sit, and you watch the animal through the window. King Mihale has luxurious amenities and a special a chalet. Each chalet has a private pool which was a great way to cool off after a long day of driving guys. Worth mentioning is a comfy couch in our room that can be turned into a bed to accommodate for example kids or a family in case you traveled with your family. So that's gorgeous. Till I downfall My love If you feel like I do right now Don't say you're on the run To the other side My love You say you wanna try But you never do Sugar, there's a moments of our stay was a trip to a private water hall in Etesha National Park, Ontario, where we saw evidence of wildlife such as giraffes, elephants, and rhinos. And it was really awe-inspiring to see these magnificent creatures up close in their natural <laughs> habitat. <laughs> So for me, the Sundown experience was a standout moment at the private pool. So we enjoyed the champagne, snacks while watching the sunset over the African savannah. Man, and the stunning views of a Tasha pen were just incredible. So overall, I highly recommend Tosha King Nihale for anyone looking for a luxurious and memorable safari experience in Namibia. So the ex combination of wildlife viewing, luxurious accommodations, unique activity, they will just make your trip unforgettable. And finally, don't forget to take cute pictures at the famous Royal Chain. And then we have Ndapanda Hainminga. The panda Heininga describes herself as being a shy but firm and creative 31-year-old. She was born and bred in the northern part of Namibia at a small village near Ondangwa called Onga. 
She has two siblings, regards herself as family orientated and would have originally gone to own our leisure's Midgard country estate, but with her being a travel blogger who had already covered that lodge, it was agreed later that she would rather visit Mukuti et Tosha. So let's have a look at her video. What do I imagine when I think of the reimagined Mukuti et Tosha lodge? I imagine luxury, you know? I imagine food. It's not Mokuti Itosha if the food is not amazing. I want relaxation, sit by the pool, enjoy great views. And romance. You gotta have a little bit of romance. So we recently went to the Mokuti Itosha Lodge and this is what I got to experience. You're crazy for saying I should slow down But maybe I'm escaping the love we found Yeah, and that was Ndapanda, and then we had Sulet Khaus. Uh, Sulet Khaus visited Timbila Lodge. She's a 32-year-old veterinarian by occupation and a nature lover at heart. She was born and raised on a cattle farm north of Tsumup and attended university in Pretoria. Um, she is at UNAM School of Veterinary Medicine, where she trains veterinary students to perform surgery. She says photography is a hobby. I used to express my creative side, uh, maybe my uh, dominant side. I love sh uh, showing other people the places, things and creatures I see through my eyes and my lens, especially in Namibia. I try to capture the emotions I feel in beautiful moments and I hope to, I portray these in my video. So let's have a look at her video.
Right, and then finally we have NWR. That was the only one where we had to do a bit of a different uh, plan because Camofa Fernandez is still on her way to actually visit the Dolomite camp uh, that is of NWR. Kamoka Fernandez, or Kamoka, I always say Kamoka, it's actually Kamoka Fernandez, was born and raised in uh, Vintuk. She unfortunately will only visit the Dolomite camp of NWR during the weekend in another eight days' time, but I'm sure she will still reward us with a super contribution. Uh, Kamotha is currently pursuing a career change. She originally started out in dentistry and is now a civil engineering student at uh, NAST. She enjoys the excitement of trying new things, whether that be traveling to new places, learning new skills, or engaging in new experiences. And we brought a video of NWR just for the time being, uh, but let's have a look. and that was Kamotha, like I said, the NWR one was rather a promotional clip now, but it was just to show you that NWR is there and we will shortly bring you the final product that Kamotha will be submitting to us. She promised to do her best to do it very fast. Right, and those were our Tourist of the Year uh, candidates. They will all be voted on in the coming months, so please uh, have a look at our Tourismus Namibia Facebook page and we will inform you shortly as to when these whole uh, uh, voting processes start. Until then, keep well. <laughs>